This is going to be a basics for LinkedIn retargeting and just retargeting theory in general. Uh, so this is going to go into the basics playlist. So I'm not going to go too in depth. The very first point I want to make is that no B2B business is impulse buying, usually not with five to $10,000 softwares or service. They're not buying on the first visit to the website. And this is an important thing to realize because way too many marketers kind of market as if that's the case, as if they send them to a landing page and they should convert. Like this is just some click funnels course that we're funneling traffic to. And if we just funnel the right traffic and optimize the landing page, that conversions will just drop in. And this just isn't the case. Uh, so when you're selling a, a B2B product, a software, a service, especially when the value is 3,000, 5,000, 10,000 or more, uh, it takes a lot of time and it takes trust and credibility. So usually the basic theory is that you'll send traffic to your website and these are the cold ads. These ads are not meant to convert. These ads, again, are not meant to convert. Cold ads running traffic to your landing page. And yes, I advise that you send the traffic to your landing page, not a form fill or a separate landing page that just is a form fill. I would send them to your website so that they can get to know you, who you are, what you sell, and what you stand for. And then the only goal of that ad is to get a digital hand raiser, is for you to track the intent signals that say, yes, my qualified... Uh, prospect because I did detailed targeting, clicked into the ad and went to the website. Now knowing that I am on their radar, step one, I go through the actual process of building trust and credibility and I do that through retargeting. So that's the, the second big point is that retargeting is not just to hit them over the head repeatedly with more ads. And then three main objections, why people don't buy the first time to the website is A, they're currently researching and they're not you know, buying something today. Maybe the buying cycle is 90 days, three months, six months, 18 months. So just staying in front of them and getting your name in front of them 90, 180 days after the click, that overcomes that. And you really could just run ads that look like ads and a lot of people do. But the other two objections are they don't know you and they don't trust you. And this is where I focus most of my time and energy. I spend my retargeting layers, trying to overcome those objections. Because like I said, no matter what I put in front of them, if it has our logo, I'm overcoming the first objection of timing. I'm getting back in front of them. So I might as well use those touches to do something else and overcome the trust and credibility. So what I do is I put client testimonials in front of them, press releases, case studies. You know, if you have any awards or things that you got noticed for, I would put different types of ads in front of them. So some are in the feed, like videos and single image ads. Some are off to the right, like a follower ad or a spotlight ad or a text ad. I would, some of those can funnel them to your company page. Some of those can funnel them to your other organic uh, communities, like your podcast, your YouTube channel, your Facebook um, group, your whatever, your newsletter. So I would, I would do all of these things in the retargeting layer with the goal of not just selling them or telling them, you know, to buy your crap, but to tell them who you are, why you exist, what pain you solve, what the experience your clients have of working with you. And I would really seek to overcome the trust and credibility. And when you do this, this is where the conversions happen. So when people say LinkedIn ads are too expensive, Usually they mean they sent cold ads to a landing page or a website. It didn't convert very well or nowhere near a positive ROI and thus cold ads or LinkedIn ads are too expensive when really they never had the right mindset to be successful in a B2B realm. This is the framework right here. And if I jump into my ad account, you'll see with my cold ads, it's very simple. I actually am running one creative with $250 a day behind that one creative. And then when I go into my retargeting, oops, when I go into my retargeting, it is 12 plus campaigns running, not all at the same time, they're ads scheduled by day or by hour by the day, rotated in and out with different budgets in different time groupings. And we'll get into that more of that on a different time. 
I have a 30 day window, a 90 day window, 180 day window. But this is where I spend all of my time and energy retargeting them, qualifying them with additional filters and building trust and credibility. And that's the secret.